Okay, good day everybody. We are back in Nexum on Extinction. Um, I have not done anything in between parts and it's actually been about three months since I last recorded this. Uh, I won't go into details why, it's not relevant. The only relevant part is, uh, despite being three months, I actually remember something uh, which I was thinking when I last ended the last part, which was, let's go to, not inventory, uh, team. Uh, I was thinking, rather than having um, the boosting of XP earn, I could swap all of these to the sharing XP one. And what that means is, um, when we then fight a trainer, I don't have to worry about swapping back to my first Nexamon for them to be eligible to get um, XP. Um, however, it does mean that obviously we won't get the boosting of XP when we're fighting like normal Nexamon. So I'm not sure yet if I want to do that, but but yeah, it's, still, it, it's the thought that I'm going to keep in my head. Uh, I might swap all of the boosting ones out to just sharing and that way it doesn't matter who goes out first uh, or rather who gets the kill um, and I say in terms of trainers I don't I don't have to swap back for the first one uh, anyway let, let's get on with the game so um, <clears throat> naturally being three months I really don't remember what's happening however I'd have looked at the journal and apparently we're going to uh, I think we're going to the north. We need to go to uh, Lydia's village because uh, Leo wanted to show us an abandoned guild building. Um, I do plan on doing because of I'm so far behind. I probably am going to just record a whole batch in a row without doing anything in between. Hopefully, that means our next one will still be high enough level to actually proceed with the game but we'll, we'll find out but let's just fight some battles so i can get back into it um what we got here so flame column blaze pyro bomb probably the best one actually flame's pretty good especially as it only uses five stamina Uh, I've forgotten all of the effectiveness and stuff like that as well, so... But it's fine, I'm sure I'll get through it. 120, that's not, not bad. Um, nature shard, actually, what, what are we looking like for shard? Holy moly, that's a lot. Hmm, makes me feel like I did a shard run in between parts but I don't remember because I say it's been been a very long time. Let's just do flame from bound as well. Mm. Okay, sure it's going up a level. Which is good considering it's only level 20 to 12. Glimmery and Puggard. Both going up a level two. Oh, and so is Muska. Oh no, Muska's four XP off. <laughs> Tornado kick. Uh, we could use a wind one. Actually, it's normal, isn't it, when it's a uh, grey square? Actually, we've got one there. Physical damage. I think I'd rather keep that. Yeah, ignore the new skill. Uh, have you fought you yet? Oh, apparently I have. Wow, getting a lot of balloonpers. There we go. <laughs> okay, so... Excuse me, Moscow's now going up a level. Nothing learned, fair enough. Every next one is different. It's hard to know which, what kind of food you should bring to attract them. When you hit the marketplace, buy a bit of everything, I guess. That's exactly what I do, thank you. There's a big and scary statue to the east of the village. 
I suppose you can hear a voice coming from inside. Oh, so if we're looking for a secret passage or something, perhaps we'll look there. Another, oh my god. There we go. <laughs> to leveled up. I imagine sul Sulfilo Sulfilo is uh, close to like its next evolution. Uh, do we need a physical? We've got combo. Yeah, need it. Oh, I didn't even see you. Thank you for your patience, Lee. You're awesome. What's that now, right? Those clowns might still be around. <laughs> Uh, oh, yes. A glidly companion. Ooh, mega rare. Alright. Well, no, maybe I'm gonna fill it in one, but. 14, okay. Oh, of course, because it's water. That's fine, we'll just go around doing this. Right, one more. Oh, do I... Maybe something a little bit less powerful? Let's get rid of that horrid noise. Do we have a Alexa with you? Okay, I think... We'll try doing it, try capturing it now. What, what's it like? Probably cake it's okay with. Grape it likes as well. Let's chuck a grape at it. Yes, I really enjoyed that. We'll also give it a... So I've only got two strawberry cakes, perhaps we'll just give it another grape. Want another grape? Oh, I really enjoyed that as well. Right, let's see about capturing it now. No, not feed. Um, do we have a water one? We do. Goes up to 71%. Alright, let's try it. My first next of one in three months. Yay! This ice dragon leaves the sub-zero trail that allows it to move swiftly wherever it goes. Hmm. I do kind of want to send it to the party, but at the same time, I know I've got these ones on me because I want them to evolve, so send to storage. Actually, I didn't see what level it was. I'm going to guess around 20, being that this one's also around level 20. Lucky do. We've already got the evolution of that in team. Actually, I probably need to check whether all of these can actually evolve too. So, Bobriel and Mosca, I feel like are two that maybe don't. Oh, evolution. into Molteno! Right, let's have a read of Molteno. This massive magma cyclops will show you the meaning of pain. Stay away from it by all means. Oh, we own it. Sad. <laughs> uh, owns a bit harsh, but... <laughs> um, I guess... So, Deemba... Wow, that, that looks fucking awesome. Uh, Deemba... Oh yeah, and I only read them when I collect them, rather than reading them now, sort of thing. I think that's right. Oh, Hoglet can go up a level. Interesting. I feel like I put Hoglet away. Hmm. Um, Chowza. Blitter Oh, Blitter Vols into Glonton. That involves at 30. 
Okay, so there's quite a few here in fire that we can still evolve. Hmm. Okay, let's go with. Oh, where's my coin? There it is. Let's go with Pongo. And Hoglock. Actually, we should probably go second evolutions, being how far we are in the game, perhaps. Let's go with Hoglet and Moonsting. Right. Uh, Tails for Moonsting. Heads for Hoglet. Tails, Moonsting it is. So next time we go to a box, we'll get Moonsting now instead of. Uh, Of Molteno. Uh, who do I want to look up? Bumreal. I feel like Bumreal stars. And mosquitoes. So, Le uh, grass and wind. Yep. Okay. And then wind. Yeah. Okay. So, they, they, do, do, they do evolve. Interesting, I've seen that one, but it, I haven't, or oh, oh, hang on, okay, it changed the, uh, the thing for some reason, put a coin there, but, uh, okay, do some more battling, oh, and a revive, woo, oh, look, Mosca, oh, I should probably swap, who my first one I sent out is as well. Although it is the highest level one, so perhaps not. Gust wind. Should we swap it for gust? does take up 10 stamina, but... Oh, actually, let's get rid of, like, one of these. Increased attack by 25%. Don't really care. Yeah. Good leveled up. Nice. We'll move on in just a moment. We already have a direct. That one's the most powerful. Let's do that one. 42. Radiator, that thing, nice. Hmm, okay. This is weird. Hmm, I've clearly gone the wrong way, but. There's nothing hidden behind here. What's this? That looks interesting. Hmm. Alright, okay, well. Back down we go. We go to the right, perhaps. Alright. Thank you, Lee. I hope I can count on you when Nexus traps run out. Go buy some more then. Don't count on me. Now perhaps go north from here. See what this says. Villages of the village ahead, no rookies. Well, we haven't fought you yet. My my, guild tamer, aren't you? You think that you're worthy of entering Lydia's domain up ahead? You know, we don't welcome any scrub. <laughs> uh, oh, a Philip Blanco. Hmm. That, I'm guessing is an evolution of that one, that cat that we saw at the beginning of the game that teleported around. You gonna kill me? Oh, you missed. Ah, uh, you're dead now. Right, what, what have you got next? Oh, the blaze pillar. 
those Tilia. Uh, right, let's get out water. Water glass. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, a furious torrent. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Florina, Florinia, sure. Uh, I'm not going to swap to get fire out, I'll just try and hit it with plasma. 13, oh dear. Maybe, actually, let's get, um, get Maltino up a bit. And then I'll swap back out. And you swapped again. Oh my god. Um, we only have fire moves here, don't we? Yeah. Probably gonna need to drop back the water. Okay, I was expecting that to kill it. But I suppose a uh, glimmery isn't particularly high level. Oh, of course you would. Um, plasma again. One more. Oh, you... There we go. Oh, Hideka, of starting one. Well, once I vault. Um, I don't remember what is good against Psychic. Was it uh, a ghost rather? Was it was it electric? I feel like not, but. Oh, I've cried out loud. Well, we won't find out. Um, Alright, uh, back to Molteno. Alpha. Jesus. Oh, exactly lethal. Fucking hell. This is not going well. <laughs> uh, what am I looking for? Ultra Revive or Revive. Super revive. Let's give super revive to Churin as well. A fire, a fell claw. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Twenty-four. That's pretty fucking good for. A fire move against a water type. And yet mine barely hurts it, of course. Back to Hideka. I don't know what water's like against ghost. Effective apparently. Cool. With a blaze till you finally fire claw. Okay, I think I need to heal up. Hey, there we go. This is what I was saying about getting rid of the beasts and making it a just a hundred percent. In this case, Volcano is already at max level anyway, so we're not really that bothered. But still, uh, congratulations, Sharon. Level up. Electric Falls. Bomb reel. Born storm. 
Uh, restores 10% of maximum HP every turn, but prevents switching out or fleeing. Ah, top it for that. I could learn double slash. Uh, it's already got plasma canning. Oh, those double slashes better. Oh, boy. Hmm. Yeah, get rid of bite. Hmm, I suppose you're not much of a scrub after all. But still, it's not my decision whether you're worthy of entering our village. Well, why do you fight me then? <laughs> oh dear. No rookies are allowed in. Oh, you're Lee. I didn't recognise you at first. These folks will welcome any skilled tamer, so you'll be fine. Hold it. Only citizens or authorised tamers may enter the village. Oh wait. That's the Drake signal. Master Lydia invited you, yes? Fine, fine, come on in. Oh, the zoom out. Very nice. That's the way to the guild's abandoned laboratory. Come on, let's try to sneak in. You'll see what I mean. Okay. You found an original warp stone. Now activating warp stone. Nice. We don't allow anyone just to visit the village. Tamers from Param are too greedy. They want to get as many elemental natural traps as they can. I kind of do as well. Our craftsmen make the finest next trap in the world. Hundreds of tamers visit every day to get their hands on a few. I'm watching you, outsider. In the Drake Isles, you're always being watched. Steel's influence on the Drake Isles is weak, but we still provide support against bandits and such. Ugh, nowhere is truly safe in this world. Did you know the Drake Isles does not have many spots? The mine shards, they are quite scarce here. You're not from around here, right? And perhaps you got some shards for me to buy. You want three of those for a discount voucher and a plant whistle? I accept. I appreciate the shards you brought, Hitley. Yep, they are quite rare here. This isn't Lateria, I guess. Can't talk to this. Forever dueling samurai. What? What's this icon? Hello, hello. Are you looking for the finest next traps in all of the Drake Isles? Nay, in the entire world. I can craft a bunch of elemental traps for you. But not all of them. I hope you brought your own elemental shards though. Uh, let's craft. Right, ICO, let's get down to business. Alright, we can get a fire one for free. Fire shots, presumably. Water. This is actually not too bad. I, I was expecting it to be more. Uh, let's get three. Oh, craft your first next to trap using elemental shards. This is the I just got. Uh, we've got a lot of these water ones. Uh, not too many wind. We'll get free though. And then some grass ones. Okay, cool. Thanks buddy, come back soon. Nice. Came all the way to Initia to just to get good necklace strap. What's taking him so long to craft them? I don't know, I got mine instantly. My Maya, I just knew that I'd see you here, Lee. Ever since you defeated Mosma. It's been clear as day. Like you'll become a celebrity. This is the marketplace where you can buy quite a few interesting nexus traps. Welcome to the Drake Isles, Tamer of the Guild. Check out the food selection. You, you'll catch wild nexus on left and right with these. Again, he's just a general shop as well. That's good. 
We've got 8,000 coins. Sounds like a lot. From Pink Vicana. A colourful dish, very popular among young girls and some next to one too. Okay. Watermelon, a juicy fruit, perfect for a hot day. A favourite among tamers in the southern areas. I like uh, a good bit of watermelon as well. Orange, banana, apple, get a couple more grapes. Peach, green pear, fries. Sausage, a product usually made of fake meat. Not the healthiest dish, but definitely a strong flavour. Five of those. Pincho, a simple snack that includes a variety of fresh and delicious ingredients. Egg tart, a very exclusive dish that is not easy to cook. Oh, I already read this, I guess. But it re requires a certain mastery to be cooked correctly. Uh, I'm only guessing that because we already have some. And then meat, a simple dish that packs a strong flavour and a great source of energy. There we go. Um... Do we need any potions? Uh, I guess we could get a few. There we go. Come back anytime, Lee. We could use more heroes like you. Let me work, stranger. The Drake Masters require, require the finest blades, and the finest blades require focus. Whoa, he's forging blades on the Drake Masters? They say that those swords can attract dragons. How does that work? The tamers of this region sure are tough. No wonder with dragons to train with every single day. Ugh. Hmm. My team of dragons is almost complete. If only I could get my hands on a great dragon. This place is always crowded. It's not a bad thing though. I doubt a tyrant would ever dare to attack us. Have one of those weird light things. Hmm. More evidence that we get some sort of jump later on. Get across there. There are rumours of a special cave in this city that's supposed to be full of treasures. I've never seen it, but I've got a strong feeling that you might find it someday. Lots of people from Haram tried to move here, just like I did. It's so much better and so far away from the sirens. Okay, so we can go to the right. Another Aoife, lovely. Always keep an eye out for red warp zones, they can, some can be very well hidden. Trust me, they will save you lots of time later on. Milo is one of the best next trap crafters in our village. If you see him, you'll want to do business with him. You know what I didn't do this morning? I didn't do a test recording to see if uh, the audio is fine. I'm, I'm sure it is, but... Uh, I like it here a lot, a bit more than Param. It's kind of bizarre to think like, a bunch of dragons keeping this place safe. Uh, what's this one? Is this one the Forget Moves Lady? Hello again, Lee. Growing tired of your shameful next one team? Can't say I blame you. Shall we get to work? Teach me skills. Mm hmm. Let's see what you got then. Ah, yes. This is where you swap them out. Let's see about Chirin. Let's see. Hmm, I kind of like Pulse Storm. It's cheap to cast. But Thunder. Ah, oh, you have to be of a certain level. Ah, so it's not quite as robust as I was thinking. I mean, it makes sense that you can't just buy the best move straight away, but still. Hmm, never stop improving, Lee. And when you fail, come to me. Don't strain yourself 
Fame of the Guild. Let your next one rest a while at this healing centre. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I'm also going to swap out the um, Mellow. Ah, yes. Another thing I was thinking is that I would create a group for each um, category of Nexamon. Because otherwise I'm going to get confused where everybody is and stuff. I don't remember what I was talking you for. Let me have a look. Go scene only. Keep it like that. Uh, oh, it was the stinger one, wasn't it? Um... God, there's loads of... Oh! Apparently I went past it. Am I wrong? Oh, there we go. Moon thing. Alright. Moon thing. There we go. We'll keep the rest even though they're not very high level. Uh, let's sort out your cores and 13. I wonder if we can break cores down into elemental shards again. Um, if we can, I've probably been told it already by one of them, but I don't remember. One of the uh, NPCs. I used to be stationed at Frozen Tundra. The difference from this place is simply staggering. Oh, sure. I didn't mean to talk to you again, but that's fine. Uh, it took me ages to convince guards that I'm a worthwhile tamer just so they'd let me in. The same as other regions are formidable, so just watch out. Hey, didn't you defeat a tyrant down there? In Anishia? I remember that face. I can't believe you, that you pulled it off. Thanks. Go in here. Those who wish to hunt the greatest great should seek the help of Lydia, who knows all about them. I imagine the rest of our this part's going to be in here. In general, dragons are harder to capture. Using elemental nexus traps is almost necessary, among other things. Okay. I see a treasure chest. You found a ghost crystal. Oh, nice. I can't remember how much percentage it gives you, but it gives you like a percent in uh, capturing that type of nexus track. Uh, mon, doesn't it? Uh, actually, let's have a look, see how many we've got. Oh, that's our first one. 3%, okay. 3% is quite a big amount. Well, like a capturing type thing. A letter was stolen from Lil Lil Liam, the mailman. I don't know why I couldn't say that for a second. Then, but anyway. Ah, oh, there's the Drake sigil. Right, I see. We could use some more wind. I don't know if that was one that we could make him create. You do wind? You do. Oh, we haven't got many, that's why. Oh, we do one more. Oh, yeah. The Drake Isles isn't, wasn't always this peaceful. Fifteen years ago, a terrible outbreak happened. The dragons went absolutely crazy. The guild used to have a special laboratory nearby, but it was wrecked by the dragons about a decade ago. It's strange. I've never seen the dragons act so violently until that day. Ooh, if you made it inside the village, then you must be a strong tamer. You gotta be into collecting the XP boosters then, like all tamers nowadays. 
Fuck you, I got one right here. Do you want it? Uh, for free blazing and free nature, I will take an EXP boot. Uh, and 300 coins, of course. Since the XP boosters aren't very powerful on their own, many teams give up on them and trade them away. That's where you should come in and get them all. Bow, stack the XP boosters. You can. Let's see how many we got. Um, we have five of them. You have three percent more. Nice. So we get fifteen just from those. Fifteen percent extra. We found an Alexa. Did you hear a tyrant attack new Nishia not long ago? Tyrants seem to be on the move again. I just hope that the dragons can fend them off. Usually what happened in this year is quickly spreading. It seems the guild managed to stop the tyrant, but now that the poor city is in disarray, it's just a matter of time before it ends up at the frozen tundra. I don't know, it didn't seem like it was in disarray when we left it, but I don't know. 35 coins, Woo. Right. Next. Beach. Tamers are always becoming stronger. Beat them once, twice, or thrice. Those that you defeat will only grow in power. And Onigiri. Thieves. Ever get tired of fighting tyrants, kid? You should visit Palmea at least once. It is possibly the nicest place to relax. Palmea. I, I recognise the name, but it doesn't mean to say we've been there. I think we have, though, if I'm being honest. Let's see. Did you know? One of the guild grandmasters really hates the Dracars. Sanders, I think. That tough guy has a thing against our dragons. Oh, really? What's going on here? Hello, young tamer. Did you know that you can improve the quality of meals you feed the world next one? That's right, we have to carry this amazing secret sauce in the inventory. Come on and get it while stocks last. 600 coins, sure. Thank you, young tamer. The world next one are going to fall in love with that secret sauce. Just keep you in your inventory and remember, you can stack multiple of these for greater effectiveness. How many of those do I have? Pretty... Uh, 9%, that's not bad. I guess the next one we're going to get is a greed wallet, perhaps. Uh, today, teamers, should be the same move over and over. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do as well. You can find awesome fruit in the Drake Isles that won't grow anywhere else. Here, here, have some. Oh, cool. Thanks. You can get lots of them at the marketplace. We found a peach. Another peach, Jesus. That is place really nice, isn't it? So much better than that city full of ghosts. Or a city of full of lava. <laughs> and this world is messed up. Yeah, this battle is obviously scripted. We live in dark times and yet these folks still manage to have fun. The contrast with Param is fascinating. I can't go up there, apparently. Oh, I've already spoke to you. Excuse me, Coco. Ah, oh, sorry, mate. I'm not selling anything around here. I may be a traveling merchant, but I only come here when I need a break. Hey, aren't you the tamer who saved an issue? Oh, so it's true. The best tamers really do come to Drake Isles. Fighting a tyrant herself, Lydia, is an ally of the guild. Why is she helping us? What is she planning? I see a ghost around here, my dear. Truth is, ever since Hilda's curse, ghosts have been pretty common all over the world. I heard that it's technically possible to catch greater drakes you know, like the one Lydia owns. Only a tree master can teach you the how, though. Uh, nothing 
here. I guess we're gonna have a fight or something up here. Not sure. Dun 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 dun. Did I speak? Oh yeah, I did. You got the secret sauce, didn't you? Okay. Did I speak to you? There's a festival going on nearby. You should visit. There's lots to do. Talking to that about that place on the left, then I disagree. There isn't much to do at all. Oh. Oh. Whoa, there is that. Yep, that's Eurus, Lydia's own tyrant. He's not violent against humans, but he won't let us inside the lab. Why is he guarding the abandoned building anyway? Who cares? That's what I've been trying to tell you, fools. The only one who can move Eurus is his master. She invited you to the village for a reason, right? I right, she promised to show her dragons. Maybe we can convince her to let us in? Let's go then. She must be somewhere in the village. Without her approval, there's no way to... we're getting through Eurus. Okay, I saved it, because I haven't done that in a while, and I feel like I need to. Right. Caps on the right. It's the only way we haven't been yet. Proud warriors of the Drake Isles, lend me your strength. One of my greatest drakes has fallen deep into madness. I cannot explain why, but we must subdue him either way. Come on. Whoa, one of Lydia's dragons is acting up. That's pretty sudden. Have you seen the tyrant Eurus? He just, he just sleeps all day. How is it supposed to be a tyrant? <laughs> I mean, it was fucking huge, so... Another ether, nice. Here is a horrible place where they bully guild tamers all the time. Well, they also have time, uh, have some of the best elemental shards. That's so worth the visit, I guess. No one I've seen you out there in the field. Yeah, I fight so many tamers that I can't can't remember. I'll always be prepared. If anyone knows how to catch great dragons, it'll be one of the Drake Masters. They live in a village, but usually don't bother sharing their wisdom with any random tamer. Well, I'm not just any random tamer. I'm a play controlled tamer. I know that dragons generally do style towards humans, but I can't I can tell that something has been bugging them for a while now. Hard to explain. That's enough of it. What if the frenzy from 15 years ago happens again? Hmm, I see a cave there. Ooh, a foreigner. He must have interesting words from Param. Like cores, am I right? I heard that cores are all the rage down there. Stay with me. Come on, I'll give you some rare items. Oh, I don't have a vitality core, otherwise we get three perfect berries and a wind whistle. Uh, okay, so vitality core, I've got to remember that. Oh, I was so excited to finally get my hands on some of our own scores. Since only strong tamers are allowed to traverse this village, you can expect a tough talent you can expect tough challenges outside, and to make it worse, they will probably use dragon. An elixir? Uh, a sensor key is a rare artifact that could open a mysterious vault hidden across the world. I've never seen one myself, but it's a famous story among miners. You should ask them about it. Actually, do I have any? I have two. Nice. So we can still find two of them and be good at the moment. Uh, I think I'm going to go and get a Vitality Core. Yeah. I will be right back. Okay, I got a Vitality Core. And despite what I was saying earlier, I actually got um, actually made another Boost Core. So we now have 
60% experience boosting on uh, Moon's Thing. Lost that one. Um, but yeah. Ooh, oh uh, yeah, okay. Get me a wind whistle and a three perfect berries. Oh, Param Param's calls are so pretty. Thanks, Lee, I put them to good use. Did I go in here? I did, yeah. When a dragon start getting nervous, it's because the tyrant is nearby. It's amazing that nobody really understands why they are so determined to hunt tyrants. Okay. Uh -huh. What's in this cave? Oh, one second. My audio cut out for some reason. Mine shard? Where do I get that one? Oh, I just walk up to it. <laughs> Oh, come on. Helipa. Oh, they're level 23 and I'm only 17. Perhaps I should put out a different... Different one of my first... Next one. On. Um, I guess electric, if they're going to be wind. Oh, you're kidding me. Does it? 188 for the one that has the boosted ones and then uh, I don't really understand that but all right uh, let's heal up actually let's swap out Volt looks fucking awesome. I might actually swap that out for Turrent. Uh, next trap. Electric. Do we have an electric? We do. Only one. I do want it though, so let's, let's use it. No point just leaving an electric one in my inventory for now never to be used so uh, its tail, forehead, chest and neck are covered with a thin layer of scales for protection and the isolation its bite is as strong as its bark let's send it to party sorry Turrent but you're gone for now alright let's uh, click on the cause for Turrent that for bolt. Of course this is where we find out that it doesn't evolve, but ah, it does at 15, so technically it should already be evolved, but it doesn't evolve when it gets to Voltaic, but there is one in between those 317. So next time this levels up, it will level up to the intermediate one. 
And then we'll see how when it evolves into the next one. What level it evolves. So much for there not being many shards in this place. I don't know what that bloke was on about. Was it below? I can't remember. I don't remember what that person was on about. Oh shit. Um I didn't heal Volt up. Damn. Um let's revive Unreal. Uh we'll have to get Bormreal out as well if we wanna then to get experience. Others getting a hundred percent of the experience, and then what they would normally get if they didn't get, they didn't do any. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Either way, let's test out what happens when you, there are no cores in. Oh, I know a vault. Let's combo. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, let's put the um, paws back on. Because uh, that gives everybody else experience for some reason. I genuinely don't think this is working as intended, but whatever. Welcome to our hideout. Anyone who goes through the trouble of finding this place has already proven to be worthy of our company. Mm. There exist nine legendary drakes and there are nine secret vaults hidden across the world. Coincidence? Actually, yes. Still, if you seek the grace of drakes, you must seek nine vaults. Right, okay. Some grace of drakes enjoy dwelling near places with fallen tyrants. Even so, visiting said location isn't enough to just summon the drakes. There is more that needs to be done. Nine drakes, nine volts, nine keys, nine locations. A wind whistle. Alright, let's go to the north. Uh, this is a dead end. Okay, let's see what we get here. The exact same across the board. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I mean, that to me makes sense. This this one here makes sense more than any of the other times, but still. Um, nah. Ignore it. Oh, here we go, Volt's leveling up.
into Volnamic. Alright, so through to Volnamic. Its large ears allow for better aerodynamics while its mid-sized wings enable soft landings at speed. Its scales provide extra protection during combat. That levels up at 32 to Voltaic. Uh, what level is it? 22. So another 10 levels. Nice. Temper Shard. Hmm. Definitely stuff over there as well. Okay, well, I guess that's this cave dealt with for now. We'll respect to you. What, what do you have to say? Lydia owns every single greatest dragon in the world. That makes her extremely powerful, but thankfully she only fights tyrants and renegades. Lydia owns a tyrant, she, so she's technically a renegade, and yet the guild doesn't do anything about it. Did they strike some kind of deal? Maybe they're just afraid of her. If you're looking for lesser dragons, you'll find them anywhere around the Drake Isles. Great dragons are, well, only a true professional knows how to find them. You'll have to ask around. Stealing a Nexus trap from their bed. Very pleasant. An Onigiri. Nice. Alright. So, it's about time to end the par, but let's move on to the next. Yeah, okay. <laughs> We're going to call it here for this part. Uh, cliffhanger. I hate cliffhangers, but I'm not in the mood to do a fight just yet. Uh, I will be in about 20 minutes when I decide to come back. Yeah, so I um, hope you've enjoyed this part. As I said, there won't be any fighting or stuff between grinding and between this part and next part. Uh, and it'll probably be the same between the next couple of parts as well. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day everyone. Hopefully speak to you soon. Bye.